Here we go, let's hear what they say How we go, we're on our way Escape to reality Escape to reality Escape to reality Escape to reality Welcome everyone to Escape to Reality Podcast with Justine and Geneva, hello, friends. We're here talking Bravo another week. Beverly Hills, man. Jeez. Just it's keeps up. It's so good. I think I love it. So good. Um, yeah, I thought I thought New York was very disappointing. We'll get into it. I it was okay, but it's just it's a okay. odd situation. Yeah, it's a I rough think that's season. How it's been? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, New York uh, is good, you're... but the other shows are just better right now. I don't know what New York could do. I I just okay. This brings me. I texted you that I wanted to discuss the bubble theory. Oh, oh okay. This is my theory about Bravo: <laughs> is that all of these cities and programs exist as a bubble, and so like oc is a bubble of like just these little oc people and once you remove once you bring somebody in from outside of that bubble it exposes like who the people are right southern charm same thing new york with ebony and it's like you have to i almost feel like with bravo you have to maintain the bubble of bullshit of like where these ebony's becoming more of the like (laughs) more and more (laughs) Right. But you know what I mean? Like, I think when you bring somebody in from the outside, outside of these groups, you expose like the the ridiculousness of these people. And then you start to not like them. And I think that's when the issue has with New York, York ever had someone come in mid season like Brashawn, though. They it, acted well, like Brashawn know- was going to be there for 10 minutes. She, now she's the star of the fucking show. Well, again, it's it's demonstrative of like the yeah. issue they're having this season. They're bringing people in mid season. That's like it, a it shows that. that they really had nothing that they had to bring in Brashawn, right? Yep, exactly. What did Ramona have one little cocktail with her in the summertime? And they're like, "What other black person do you know? Get <laughs> exactly, them in. exactly." And that's where it feels forced and like fake. I just might. It really mm. disappoints me because as we all know new york is our favorite one of our favorite franchises and now we're in a situation where it's like i i'm struggling to get through it like i'm watching it and it's okay but it's not great i think that they had it good when they had it good i I don't know they and and focusing on sonia's boozing seems fake don't me don't do an intervention at an event <laughs> where you're already drinking like it's just and and Luann Luann the voice of reason with her fake rosé yeah. strolling around like it's all too much and it seemed very fake and Ramona's like oh we're gonna talk to Sonia about her drinking but I gotta go get my drink first <laughs> right. it work like that <laughs> Ramona. Uh, I'll tell uh, you first what happened then, at my oh, oh yeah at the notary getting into so, it yes. so I go to my notary I walk up and I've lost like 80 pounds since I've had a child Okay, we'll get into it. I'll get it's part of the story. I walk up, I'm wearing a dress, like a it's not even flowy, it was whatever. And um the lady goes, Oh, congratulations. No. She said to me, I go, I'm not never pregnant. supposed to That's do what that. I said to her. I go, I'm not pregnant. I go, my stomach's really fucked up from giving birth, but I'm not pregnant. And she goes, Oh my god. And she flipped out. And then I go, Yeah, my and in my, my, I said my husband thinks it's scar tissue, but it's not. It's this diastasis acis recti or whatever, which I'm now I'm work. I'm figuring out how I'm going to get rid of it. But I wish I could just have surgery to just chop it all off. Right. But who the fuck asks? Who the fuck says congratulations like that? That's- I'm obviously not fucking pregnant. I'm this. I'm skinnier now than I was when I, uh, before I even had kids. You yes. fucking bitch. You, my stomach has a little pooch because I had three fucking fat ass babies, you stupid bitch. And then I had to sit there and do a notary with her for an hour. Oh, God. And you're, it was never, the most awkward hour. I wanted to fucking that's rule throw the table you're like never Teresa supposed to Judas. Say, you're never supposed unless someone discloses to you that you're pregnant. You're never supposed to say shit. You're just what not. about a heavy woman. Right. No, that's I terrible to be so rude. And well, I'm even you, like not eat. I'm yeah. I'm freaking doing um, 
what's it called? Where you only eat for eight hours at 12. Oh, hours I do that all the time. Whatever, intermittent fasting, which I, I usually do, but I'm now I'm like following by the clock. Yeah. I'm not eating till noon. Yeah. I am a fucking nightmare at 11 a.m. I'm like counting down the clock, but it's a good it's good for me to be like, no, you just can't eat till 12. You're going to eat. Just shut your fucking mouth and you're going to, you know, what I love about intermittent fasting that I've noticed for sure is that you don't have to eat as well if you just keep it within the hours. Like you have more flexibility yeah. to just eat what you want and you don't have to be like, oh, for breakfast like at 7 a.m. Yeah. I'm having egg whites. You know, it's like you can eat a full breakfast at 12. Yeah, I do it all the time. I love it. I'm a big believer. I just couldn't believe it. And, uh, you know, when I after I had given birth before, I've had an old man that I at my job come up and put his hand on my stomach after I come back from maternity leave. And it's like, I'm not fucking pregnant, you dickhead. <laughs> the lady's Slight lucky violation. I'm not like super, super crazy. I can call my mom and just rant to her and she ha- helps me mentally through it. What a fucking bitch. Tyler started laughing when I told him. It's like, oh, thanks, Tyler. <laughs> this isn't fucking funny. <laughs> Oh, but I, you God. know, I just know that I don't look fucking pregnant. I just is. I mean, my stomach is fucked up, but she doesn't. Who says that? Yeah, it's crazy. You're never and supposed to like, comment. I was going to say you looked really good if you were pregnant. It's like you're a <laughs> fucking bitch. Well, you look like shit if you're not. What the hell? Oh, God. My stomach is like it is fucked up, but I'm working on it, lady. God, I got a lot going on. Yeah, don't we all? Um, okay. Oh, uh, just for our Patreon friends, we're dropping our next Love Island recap tomorrow. Love Island UK. Uh, such a God, good it's season. Good. I'm getting into it. It's really starting. To- no one seems to really like each other, but I'm enjoying it. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. No one. They're starting deeply- to. Do you know what I realized? I- I'll save my further discussion for our actual episode. What Love Island does that's really smart is they start with okay looking people like they're attractive, like whatever. And then every person they bring in progressively is hotter and hotter so that the temptation is higher with these people. And it's just like fascinating to watch. They always do that. Like think Molly May came in late in the game, right? Like they bring people in as it rolls out. It's just hilarious. I, I just I love Love Island. It's the best. It's nothing like it. Yeah, they did bring it their way. I don't know why they would wait where they had these little. Because the two girls they just recently brought. Oh, in. yeah, okay. they're great. I'll shut up about it. Oh, my Lucinda, God. Millie. Ah! Adele look like and Chloe. What a fucking bitch. OK, uh, all right. If you're not watching Love Island UK. Watch 10 episodes today. <laughs> Sign up on Patreon for tomorrow. Uh, all right. Um, What else on New York? I know we kind of started to discuss okay. it. Um, oh, OK. Point number one. Why yeah. are we not getting the entire Sonia Brashan fight unedited Ridiculous. Just show us the footage. Ridiculous. Why is it flashbacked grayed out where we're just seeing moments of it and then they're discussing it? They obviously were filming. Where's the footage? Are they trying to make it fancy? I don't because know. It's not. Nobody wants that. It would have been no. great if it was just live. Dumb. When it, someone breaking the fire extinguisher glass. I mean, come on. We need You're to gonna see that. freaking flashback that shit. Right. There must be more reason to that. There has to be. Yeah, it sucks. And it's not like they didn't have the footage like a Real Housewives of Orange County in Ireland. Like they weren't filming. They were filming and we didn't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Drives me nuts. And it's Sonia fighting like that. I mean, come on. Sonia is on one this season, I think, in the best way possible. She's really trying to find her voice and like make her presence be known and it's uh i think she hates i think uh, she loves over, ramona but she's sick I of think she's, yeah, pushing her I think around she's over it yeah which i like to see and then, luann saying oh that's my friend you can't talk to my friend like that fuck off luann <laughs> they all talk terribly to her all the time they say they're such tight friends but they don't seem to see each other when it's not filming lately right that's true like they have history, but years of filming together. That's a relationship enough, I guess. <laughs> Even on Real Housewives of Potomac, they don't. Housewives should see each other 24 7. They should be talking be about shit. Constantly. Nobody, or just that it should naturally be that way. Yeah. Like I, it shouldn't be a filming situation. Right. Well, that's the issue, right? That these people aren't actually genuine. Oh, there's friends. millions of friends groups. I know. Like, come on. I know. It's so ridiculous. Can another network just 
wipe Bravo off the map and make Andy Cohen a homeless person? I mean, it's ridiculous. You know what I can take without a dumbass seance, dumbass psychics, dumbass mediums? Don't need this it. This lady maybe possibly was picking up shit, but the first yeah. guy, he was blowing it. He was like, to Luann, do you have an uncle? She's like, nope. Hmm. Who doesn't have All an right. uncle? Shut up, Luann. <laughs> oh, I just and I, I I don't Ramona's need, brother. This is the yeah, that was sad. I think the issue again, and I know we keep saying this, but it's like it's the fact that it's so small. Like COVID is not helping the situation at all. Like we're just in different locations doing single one-off things. And it just feels like we're wasting time. You know, but Real Housewives Potomac, not to compare, but I feel like they could do it in a warehouse, you know, and just change rooms and we're going to get stuff. It's the casting. Yeah, I think Ebony could get another season. I just feel bad for her that she'll get opportunities from this being on this show. But does she even want to come back? Yeah, I don't know, because I think she's gotten a lot of heat um, and especially on social media and stuff. So I feel like it's just it's going to be I don't know. It's going to be a crapshoot to see if she comes back and are they going to invite her back? They may need to do a real like we've talked about, do a real shakeup. Ebony could have her own talk show. I mean, she's a real presence. And you know what, though, I guess she has a tweet back from 2016 where she says she wrote in her vote. So she didn't vote for Hill. (laughs) that's interesting Uh, i don't believe that her grandma's dead a couple days and then is hopping over to the seance i I believe in that stuff possibly but maybe that lady i don't know it's also edited and it's also a tv show where they could be telling this lady stuff feeding them information don't don't tell me nothing right Right. I like to, we talk, uh, oh, Bershawn and oh, yeah. Sonia. You move like a black girl to Sonia. She, that <laughs> cracked me up. I like Bershawn. I, I like how oh, she apologizes and stuff. I, no, I, I guess so I just odd. have a soft spot. She's she almost died. I, I mean, listen, it, that's great, but I find her obnoxious. I, yeah, I like the interesting. She goes, I was familiar with people I'm not familiar with. I thought that was an interesting way to put it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ramona is so rude. Tell Mr. Sushi Man not to make my food yet. Mr. Sushi Man, she's fucking ridiculous. I think Never if ends. this season was not to beat a dead horse, but if it was Ramona, Sonia, Countess, Dorinda, Bethany, and Tinsley, all in the Berkshires or Bluestone Manor or whatever, it would be a great season, even with mm-hmm. COVID. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, it's rough. You want to yeah. talk Beverly Hills it's a weird or Potomac? Season. It's very weird. Let's talk Potomac. We'll save our little Erica Jane. God. I think that Mia may be a good addition. Oh, yeah, I think she's great. I don't think they're... If, if they didn't add another firecracker, the whole fights would just be Giselle and Karen. Yeah, and I feel like they're a little put on. Yes, I think the two of them definitely have some beef, but I think they know that they're on they have TV. an agreement. Yes, like we're going to kind of beef more than you would think and blah, 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 blah. Because they um, just eat, start eating food after they're having. She's telling her she has a hot box vagina. Oh, having dinner. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like, OK, let's just keep on eating. I think, yeah, I think I like I like Mia and she definitely was a stripper. And I, I'm oh, sorry absolutely. to say I looked at her in a different way after it was revealed. I I mean, she it does not shock me. I not love that, that she said looked at her, but I could see it. Right. Like I thought when she said, um, who said this? Somebody was like, if you're a bartender, I'm a white man. One of them said that <laughs> it was Candace. Candace, yes. <laughs> like loved it. I thought that was hilarious. But actually, bartenders and strip clubs make sometimes more money than killer strippers. money. Oh, it's a because they're just spending a, time talking to the creeps. It's a great you know, job really leaning in. Yeah. It really is. Even being I a stripper, love that they why had, the fuck not? Right? I have no problem with strippers. Her and the husband no. um having sex in a waffle house bathroom. Loved that. Oh, that's fun. You know, the <laughs> 
the whole clit thing, though. Yeah. With you slapping your vagina up against, like she said, making it clap. Is Ashley right? I don't. I, there's no way. When Ashley said being a stripper is the only thing that explains like a clitoral <laughs> reconstructive surgery. Hilarious. But why? Like, why? Because you're rubbing your vagina she on said, a pole? She's I don't making understand. her vagina clap. Like, making yeah, but the, no. But that no. wouldn't happen. And no, how much all, sex like, are you having? Then something's right. wrong. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like there I was just an maybe. issue. It's know. a lot of sex. And uh, yeah, we'll get to, to the game. Ashley is a cute little fun. pregnant lady ho- hobbling in. She's going to give birth on that floor. I mean, shout out to her coming to this event like 39 weeks pregnant. Just She's a up. dedicated housewife. Yes. Yes. I listen, I've already said, and I'll say it again. And I've been pregnant, so I'm not shaming anyone. I don't want pregnant housewives. I don't want to see it. She's putting in the time though. You got to give her credit. Like she's out there. She's trying. And she's she looks so like comfortable as up. hell. So she was telling her she's mom gonna... that okay. I love her mom too, that they have anal. Yes. God, Why can't gave they have me sex more... in the vagina. God gave me more than one hole. Why are you saying that to your mother? I'm not into that kind of Why do you act like you can't have vaginal sex? I, you know, Tyler thought he was doing me a favor. I couldn't keep him away from me. And I was 500 pounds. Like we're going to get that baby out. It becomes me- medical, you know, but. Well, I would ask, I would ask this. Given the rumors about Michael, isn't that interesting that that's the preferred way they're having sex now? Yes. Yeah. Right. You know? And the, the, seems like his penis would be closer to her the baby's head from the asshole poking that poor baby in the back of the head is that why you guys came to here today <laughs> jesus oh my god well i you know like at least I we're not to see michael i'd rather right. hear about his anal yeah honestly we haven't seen him yet right oh, i guess we saw that first anal. episode she's one know. of those girls I did like um, Candace saying about Wendy, she fed a village with those titties, so I'm happy for her about getting her <laughs> boobs done. <laughs> Do you believe that Wendy didn't wasn't going to talk about her BBM or Brazilian butt lift if, if Mia didn't run down her procedures? No, she put on Twitter that she said it like and that they edited, and that they cut it, it up like she didn't tell them. I don't think yeah. Wendy gives a fuck about Mia. No, I don't think so. Maybe. Well, Wendy does seem like I thought what Mia said, she said something like uh, Wendy's insecure and threatened and that has nothing to do with me. Um, Yeah, what's the way she's acting with her husband does seem a little weird. Uh huh. And I think Mia Mm -hmm. has a bit of a point. And then I hate the cheating rumors, which put in my put doubt in my mind for Eddie. Now I'm looking at Eddie. Look at his wife when she has a candle company like she's a fucking idiot and that she's just wasting his time and money. Well, let's talk about the candle thing. I think that's absolutely preposterous. It's ridiculous. Every every person, every Tom, Dick and Harry has some kind of candle bullshit. You are an educated, accomplished. You don't need to be doing that. It's, it's sad. I, I know I was right about this last week. Like I think you're you're watching a really sad transformation of a very accomplished woman into like a reality, typical standard, sad Mm -hmm. person selling some weird product that no one gives a shit about. Why are you selling candles? You have a doctorate. She is top tier and she's acting like she's, uh, it made me sad with the whole plastic it's surgery. Sad. I mean, she looks great, yes. but yeah, her face does look really different kind of in a yeah. way too. Yeah. And her marriage seems sad the way that she was, yeah. the way that her and Eddie are interacting. It does seem very surface or there's something yeah. more going on. Agreed. I think it, it seems it reeks not of like desperation, but there's like a, a sad fear. undertone. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like, I like it. her mom too. Her mom needs to get in there and shake things up. Right. I like the family dinner. I like them yeah. as a family. I don't I hope Eddie's not cheating. Do you think? I don't know. I hope not. I hope not. He's a hot piece of ass, man. He looked tall when he walked into that love shack party or whatever the fuck it's mm-hmm. called. Mm-hmm. He put on Love Shack for the kids in the car and they were really great gr- song. Vernon was That's grooving a- to it. That reminds me of being like 12 in my head. Oh, like, what I a love great that song. song. I'm figuring it out. What did they say? 
<laughs> yeah, he worked at a place a where I, this old, this lady who was a psychopath who I ended up getting into a fight with and I let my emotions really run over me. And I, I remember they didn't know who the B-52s were. And I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. Well, Why that's what set you off. Love Shack is. No, I just remember. I always remember that. It just drives me nuts. Like she didn't know what the Love Shack song was. Or How do you not know that song? And she's 20 years older than me. That is your freaking Britney Spears. Mm. I don't know. Crazy. Um, let me try to think. Oh, Giselle flicking the nipple on the cupcake. Yeah, that was weird. It's too much for when, me. Okay. When she was like, lick my nipple flick it it's like okay this is i know am i eating a cupcake or i'm in some weird sexual party i'm good Very i did odd. like that but giselle's tongue it was a little a little, a little much. too much for me yeah no thanks. what's to giselle and the girls her daughters she i had a thought this morning that she kind of reminds me of shannon bedore and her daughters yes like they don't respect her yeah they look at her what like she's do? an idiot yes like she's trying to, and again, I don't know if like these are forced conversations that they've already have. So the kids are over it. But like when they said, we aren't taking your advice, you should take ours. Like you never want a 12 year old to say that to you. Like that's not a great indication of your parenting and or your like, decision making. Let me tell you something. When I dated that gang member, it's like, it's, so you've been making these terrible decisions about men your entire for life. years. And then you're talking to these beautiful daughters about, I don't know. Yeah. And then she's got a great father. We met her dad. Right. He's right. a freaking bomb ass guy. Right. Right. I don't know what that's about. Where's the mom? Have we met her mother? That's a good question. I don't have we. That was an odd like she situation. Was exactly like Chazelle, but older. It was the, odd. The daughters think their dad's a piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. I've never. I feel seen very lucky that I really... never thought that about my parents. Yeah, I've never. You know, even when parents are garbage, a lot of the time the kids still defend them. These girls yeah. have written him off. There is some shit that this guy's done that has not been told because these little girls. And, and it's not even like Giselle's sitting there poisoning their brain or anything. They've right. made it all right. on their own. Well, I think they've also just seen. A series of bad decisions by her yeah. right, when it comes to men so i think but they, usually like, they're not dumb kids i think even against their own good judgment would be like but he's my dad they don't right think that you know no they don't i don't think they'd so care I, if they ever saw him again yeah it doesn't seem like it it's sad you know what cracked me up was dean saving crying private when he saw they're like see you later when when little Dean saw Karen and just started crying hysterically and Karen just got <laughs> up and left. <laughs> I love that. That's so good. <laughs> Ashley is a sweet little mom. She's way sweeter than I am. When when she's like, he's just a he's got a great personality. What did she say when she was walking in to get him? Like he's 50 years old. Yeah. She's like, he's really just a great kid or a great guy or a great personality. I'm happy for Ashley, but she'll have fun raising those kids alone. God. there's just something cold I, I mean it's nice if i thought that what's her i can't remember her husband's name lately if her husband really cared be like you better fucking eat that placenta so you're not a basket case after you give birth God. i'm not dealing with it sad Man, what a that poor sense of eating is quite the business kid. yeah disgusting could you imagine, like, if you went back in time 50 years and told people, like, now there's, like, businesses tagged on this thing called Instagram where people eat their placentas. <laughs> You're like, get out They're of cooking town. cooking it up. Yeah, putting it in. I'll never pills. forget. I remember looking over, seeing that bucket of placenta. Like, get the, I was like, Karen, I don't want to. Oh, God. Man, where, what garbage shoot are they shooting down placentas? Ugh. Man, don't eat this. Don't eat the street meat at the hospital. Everybody's got a great person. Everybody got great balanced endorphins oh, there. Or anything else on Potomac? Um. Oh, okay. Ray cracked me the fuck up when he said, "What housewife would you want to fuck?" If or be with if you weren't with your wife and you put Katie, that was great. <laughs> oh, I loved see and then like Wendy's husband putting NA 
Like, yeah, that's stuff like that. It's like, you know, there's somebody in the group. How about, well, no, that's a Love Island reference. I'll save it. I know that. Yeah, right. Because she's a little bitch and she's not friends with the girls. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's over there, you know, stroking their dicks, giving them hand jobs underneath the kitchen table. Right. I, I, I love Ray and Karen. Even though uh, I can't stand their fake conversations. Like the only time they film together is like they're sitting down and like Karen's telling him about something with the girls and he could care less. And it's just so fake. I'm it's turning into it. weekend at Bernie's. He's yeah, he's really. But a man's penis never dies. Like he really knows who he wants. To <laughs> no, I know. And his he's, dick will I get hard him, for Katie. Dorian was like, Dorian was like, I said something where he just seemed creepy to me. And he's like, why do you think he's creepy? I'm like he is. Ray has been a creep always. Like he says creepy comments to all the women all the time. Even Ashley's like, who you look good. Like he's you're creepy. Good. I feel like he's fun, but I feel like he's just yeah, it's a little creepy. I feel to me, he's creepy that he's going to. I just feel like he's going to keel over like our old boss. He's going to be yeah. typing and he's going to be like, and then he won't yeah, come I don't back. Think he's awake. that bad. Yeah. Oh, you it's like your you find a creep vibe. Okay. Just like um, but creepy like under he's... the guise of being like a sweet old man, which is still creepy, uh-huh. right? Like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I, I got a slight I, creep vibe. I feel like he hates Karen. He's hated her for 15 years or maybe <laughs> 24 years. One year in <laughs> but 24 years and 364 her. days. <laughs> She's hilarious, mm. though. Candace really knows how to put it together though she is cu- the cutest thing on the whole planet she is always look flawless always even after getting attacked <laughs> <laughs> all right Poor let's thing. talk uh beverly hills okay have to bring up your tweet um escape to pod about kathy a lot of comments about kathy Okay, so Justine said Kathy is awesome, but I believe she's playing a character a little bit because the Kathy we see doesn't seem capable of having such a riff with her sister. This Kathy doesn't seem to know what day it is. Couldn't agree more. A lot of comments. People are saying she's playing a character like Paris. Um, what do you think? Which we've said before. Yeah, I think it's a, I think she's having fun, but she's not so. But it's not her. She's not so blanked out. Is it not her or are we or is she only showing a part? Like, is she truly paying a character? I'm wondering or if, like, I think or she's what eccentric. do you think from that? Yeah, but she's not so she comes off like she's really out of it. I don't think she's that out of it, because if you think about it, who put who put Paris in the dungeon school? Right. If you watch That's the that thing, I can never forget. What do you think right. I've never watched that. I mean, the weird scene, see, this is the thing where she seems completely different. It's like in the conversation she has with Paris, when Paris tells her about like the shit at the school and like she seems cognizant and not like how she seems on the show. And she is like, oh, we didn't know. Like we had no idea. And just like playing dumb, though, similarly, like she didn't understand yeah. that taking your daughter ripped from your room in the middle of the night is traumatic. Like that decision <laughs> to Paris. me, I will never understand Admit, Imagine and, and the trauma. We've forgotten that. about like that. Insane. How can you it's sleep at insane. night knowing that your poor that happened to your poor daughter? And, and you, a lot of stuff. Not only, a lot of weird not only stuff. It happened. You you let them into your home you in the middle of the night to let them take her out like a freaking captor. It's insane. It's Never insane. forget that. And you're leaving. Right. And a lot of weird stuff. I think kind of used. Or, I don't know. I'm not gonna. My instincts are that they were in New York City and there were two pretty girls and they didn't hide that they were two pretty girls. And, uh, like if an old man was looking like, oh, you can look at I know they're pretty, but a lot of people might protect their kids a little bit more. Like, don't you fucking talk oh, to like, my daughters. Like they were teenagers let loose in New York City. Yeah. Yeah. And that the parents yeah, weren't were. protecting them enough. Yeah. Right. They seem to all have a good relationship now, but what about little Conrad who's going to jail for stalking girls outside their houses at 2 a.m. Right, throwing right. teddy bears? And he's got the eyes of the devil. I mean, I know that people can be good and still have wacky kids, but I don't know. I don't I don't I think it's a 50 fit. I think she's a fun, happy go lucky person. Yeah, she's not as dumb as she looks. I would agree. 
like her brushing the ground with a barbecue thing and like a little you know, stuff on. like it's that i think be. is a little shtick it has to be yeah nobody's that i mean i know that you've had help i guess maybe but you know what a broom the fuck is you know what a broom is right right it doesn't make sense but i do yeah. like her and kyle's relationship and for her to have such a fight with Kyle, maybe it was more with the husband. Yeah. And he and you forget that. I mean, Mauricio, I wonder what really happened to Mauricio sit down the husband, the, Kathy's husband. I forget what's his name. And Rick say, hey, I'm going to Rick. Hey, Rick. Why don't you come over and let's talk about it? And uh, I just then he's going to start the agency. Was it really sneaky? Was it not? Right. I don't know. I don't know. I the OK. The Erica stuff. I, I feel like, OK, the the car crash story was one of the weirdest, even the way she's like with her fingers trying to like line oh, it fake. out like she's talking to the cops. Fancy bitsy spider exactly she seemed it was like this she, and like pressing her finger down so hard and stuff well and weird. when she rolled into the place and the way she yeah. was talking like i just uh. it's like she was trying to appear either she was drunk uh-huh. no or like on mm-hmm. pills or something like she just like seemed like she's she was acting trying to be like i'm not all right and i won't be for a very uh-huh long. it's like what's happening here like i i just I think the more I'm watching this, the less I believe she was entirely innocent because, again, she Mm -hmm. is being his alibi in terms of backing up his story. It's hurting him more. Right. I don't know. I don't buy it. Would have been way better off. She would have been way better off had she been like, okay. And here's my thought when you're an attorney, when you, isn't your first piece of advice from an attorney shut the fuck up about anything, even a tiny, small lawsuit? They say, don't say a fucking word. And she's out there blasting these crazy stories on national television and talking about still paying $10,000 a month in a in a freaking house right. and all this and that. I mean, it's going to end up hurting went from, way more. And she went from not saying anything to almost, I would say, oversharing compared yes. to the standard of how she acted. And that is a very red flag to me. Like, right. all of you've been quiet for 20 years. And now all of a sudden you're saying everything now while there's a, a pending lawsuit against you. I don't know. It and then it went from like, sense. he's losing it to he's cheating to he was like, like, I don't know. Just all of it. So it was he like drove off a cliff. He got chucked right. from the car. Or he rolled down a hill. And then he called her 12 hours later, but then she found him is what she said. None of it makes sense. What's he called? It's weird. And he'd be right. dead. He's 81. He's got He's... thin skin. He gets one right. little, little bone. Right. You see old people, you wall, run into it. Skin yeah, you're bruised. bleeding. Exactly. You're dead. Tom be yeah. dead. Tom and Ray seem like the same person. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> I just, I don't, I hate it. I think um, her sit, the way she's sitting back, she's so cocky. And some people are saying, I, I almost could agree. Kyle Richards had such bad acting in that scene. Either they had filmed that and they were like, let's reshoot that scene and, and tell us that story. Which, oh, okay. But Kyle and Rinna seem so actressy sitting at that table. And then yeah. what kind of friend, when someone... I, I hate people like this. When my boyfriend cheated on me, I had a friend go, well, you know, me and my parents never liked him anyway. And that was my friend whose parents hooked me up with the kid. It's like, it's such a cunty thing to say. Sorry for the C, C word. Good morning, everyone. That's such a bitchy thing to say. Like, oh, well, we heard rumors. Thanks. Right. I get it. I understand. People were talking behind my back. I'm already freaking publicly humiliated. Thanks for bringing that up. That's right. not what a friend says to someone when their boy when their husband's cheating. You say, "I oh, want you know." You, I find that rude, don't you? Right. Yeah, definitely. Kyle seemed. Sutton's the only person there. Garcelle, I wish was there. I wish Garcelle had been there. Yeah, agreed. Because I think, I just I'm interested to see if what they showed on the like coming up on 
is actually them discussing Erica if they're just editing it that way to make it seem like it's why are they so something. far up her ass it just it's coming across as, had sex yeah. with somebody and didn't want to talk about it and they're, they shunned her and made, vilified her right it's coming across as inauthentic and as something that's like oh it's scammy very scammy yeah. and it seems like they're all almost allowing it to happen and not like it, what the what the hell if I'm sitting at a table and someone told me that spin of bullshit I would just be like what can you start I'd again like my friendship is over because this makes no sense to me and they're just like accepting I it. would I call know, Geneva after and be like that bitch is what bullshit what the fuck was that yeah exactly I, and, and maybe I'd they're like, saying that I'm I don't distancing know. myself right it is weird and she's they're so cocky makes sense they stole all the money from these people and now she's cocky enough to go on the real housewives is a huge freaking show too i mean it's not like nobody watches this shit and you're out there telling this story about him falling driving off a cliff and you find him i mean right they're filming louise it's crazy it's insane and what about sutton i i enjoyed her telling the story and i enjoyed it but it's interesting her dad got her dad himself two days before i actually Christmas. really Jesus. liked i don't remember the conversation with her and her mom or the mom like was I like don't either. i didn't have the same relationship with your dad i don't remember that at all but i loved her mom there because i think that's mm-hmm. like that is a very accurate yeah, because it is like you as a child, you're gonna have a completely different relationship with your parent than yeah. like your parents have together. And I loved the mom being like, I don't miss him. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I don't like it was it's a, a very, sick relationship. Uh, I'm all right. I love that, that. kind of shows Sutton's personality. Too. Yeah. <laughs> See, we need to learn these things about these housewives that really especially gives Sutton people full because circle. Sutton came in as a kind of a like she Cook. didn't really get her backstory. Yeah. She couldn't talk about her divorce her kids so, you know it's like so you need those holes filled to make yeah. her more of a person that you can like feel for you know and i love her and crystal awkwardly having to communicate but i like them getting yeah. along i don't want to see people fight like that unless it's a no. karen giselle fight right Agreed. or i mean i do enjoy the fighting but i love crystal i think she's fun and she's smart Man, people hate she's crystal not buying that I, shit people hate crystal online like hate her it's too bad it's definitely racist she's I coming back yeah i think so she'll be back yeah she's got a great life i mean you you watch her on instagram and i, I watch her and she's she should have a cooking show i mean she's really good at it she's really i, I don't know it is too bad I find it funny that she's so broke now or i don't find it out of love that she brought tiago to the desert but they're yeah, right <laughs> you know it was freaking hot here and i'm on it's 911 season for me at least once a year i'm calling 911 but this world sucks i'm gonna i wish i was super rich i would start a free business all across america where i called i called 911 because this poor dog is freaking roasting outside they have the windows cracked this much what? i don't give Wait, a you're fuck a 911 for, caller but for dogs i am because it's either oh. me or i i can't drive away i feel so bad the dog sitting in the front seat panting panting what do they panting. say when you call 911 and, about a dog and everything i called before at avon's I, and i had to get their license plate but then i accosted the person outside i said who the fuck are you? Why are you leaving your dog outside or leaving your dogs in there? They're roasting. These poor dogs were in the back of a little station wagon, just sitting there trying to stay alive. If you can't leave the window all the way down, if you think your dog's going to jump out or bite someone, leave it the fuck home. Go stop at home. Don't stop at the grocery store. I mean, or I shouldn't even have enough time to sit there and uh, worry about this dog. You should be running in and out. I don't know. So when I call 911, they, they give me. One time I called, they've called, they said, oh, it's not hot enough outside to really cause a problem. Well, you're not that poor little dog wearing a fur coat stuck inside this car. Then I called before they said that somebody was coming. They're just bullshitting me then. Then I called the other day. My kids probably think I'm fucking nuts. I'm in the car with my mom. We're like on the way to the beach. She's probably like, Jesus Christ, can we just get to the beach? You know, I did end up driving away. And then so they give me the number to 
the people supposedly 911 gave me another number to call. Then that number put me on hold. And it's like, fuck, but it just drives me crazy. Why do people leave their dogs in the hot car? It, what? Ah, oh, it drives me nuts. Okay. Justine's out here crusading. I mean, I just, I can't. It drives me nuts. Drake, what do you think about the whole Drake situation? I thought of you. Following, I hated hearing you them say Lisa right champagne now? poppy. It was Pappy? Like Did she say Pappy? Me, yeah, she said Pappy twice. Made me very uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, God. All right, should we talk below deck? God. Drake, Drake looks like he smells so good, doesn't he? Oh, very God. clean. Yes, it looks like his clothes are just brand new. He hasn't put on. He does never worn something twice in ten. Twice. Years. Yeah, right. That's great. That's oh great call. God. Let me see if there's anything else. Dory, Dory is suspiciously quiet, and it's just come out again that they brought up their freezing her assets, but they're in. They owe a shit ton, maybe like 1.8 million in taxes or something like that. 1.8. I should know the information, but they're in trouble. Mm. Her and that Louis Vuitton, every outfit. It's like so obnoxious. All right. Let's see here. Below deck. I hate this chef. Looks like he's about to leave. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, don't complain about that. Your job is like you have to feed all of these people all day. Other people are scrubbing toilets. Like that's their job. Yeah. You have a job. Feed Make people. It's like pasta. obnoxious. It's annoying. And I wouldn't want to eat his slop. No. He looks like a bad chef. He does, honestly. I'm not into it. The nerves, the bullshit. It's just all too much. I want no Ooh, parts of it. Bitch baby. Yeah. Is it because of COVID they couldn't get anyone better? I mean, come on. I don't know. Where do I'm they not. come up with oh, these we- people? There's a gazillion chefs out there in the world that would want this right. job. Right. Well, we talked. We didn't talk uh, below deck last week because we were with table flipping girls. But the the stew eating the food, God. just ripping off. People that calling lamp. me. People are saying I'm. I was racist for tweeting that. I thought it was just funny. It's just like oh, she, I found it obnoxious. There. I don't care. I mean, like not a not who funny, you are, but like it made me. Oh, it's, like she just ripping it. Like yes, just, like, just it's crazy. You know? It was just, you don't do that. I feel like when people are still eating, you don't know if people want more food and you're just ripping it off and just pounding it. He didn't even say anything to her. People were saying that we've seen stews do that before. I don't remember. I feel like maybe they had a taste test that was. I remember offered. people having scraps, but not like yeah. while they're plating, she's picking one up and just ripping it off. That was insane. I, I like how she very... talks to the 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 chef though like like yeah. i'm gonna make you my bitch don't talk to me i think that's hilarious i mean listen is it appropriate definitely not but... they're gonna have sex with each other right and her poor dad just died three months ago the, the girl is emotionally fragile with her list of burn names it's a little crazy oh that was psychotic yeah a little psychotic you think? she is nuts it looks like she must get kicked off she yeah starts looks to like fight. she goes off too right but her eating that lamb i mean hilarious i know you're all hungry and everything but maybe she didn't even realize what she was doing yeah i don't know i loved that drunk guest just roll i you know what i love i love a wife who has had enough like where she's just looking at him like disgusted go to bed go to bed i gotta talk to to my husband like that when i got two kids jesus christ (laughs) right like you're dealing with a third child he's trying to jump no. off the boat while they're eating i mean come on oh so he kept hilarious. saying i'm swimming before this night's over <laughs> they need to let the i know it's dangerous especially at night but people i could see people myself on a night swim right yeah me too just like keep us in a little pen just right off the boat let me let me get in the water but jumping off from the top is a little sketch <laughs> cracks his neck he does they look like meatloaf's kids Yes, it's a great description. And kids don't belong on a yacht. There's plenty of time. Absolutely not. That's so stressful. I mean, kids barely belong by water. Let's be real. Unless it's they, scary. It's like terrifying the entire time. So I can't on, on a boat. You don't even know in two seconds a kid can climb it's up over. and jump off. It's they're yeah. dead. Like, I, how is it enjoyable for anyone? That's the other thing. How is it enjoyable as a parent? Like, again, I'll say it once. I'll say it be the end of time. It's not a vacation with a kid. It's a trip. You can't be blacked out. Be a target like, following these stupid assholes around. It's not fun. Right. No, it's not at all. And I love how the 
the stews are like, God, these kids are filthy. Yeah, they're dirty little hands oh, yeah, compared to everywhere. adults eating dinner. The chef actually, ordering off a kid's meal can go fuck himself. That's a bad sign, yeah. too. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I so um, no, I just think that this crew actually is pretty efficient. Like, you're they not are. seeing. I think the chief stew's good. Still couldn't tell you her name. What's her name? Kate? No, no clue. Kate. <laughs> no clue what her name is. She's good, though. Like, she's, she's running great. a good little. She's I doing like a good her. job. I feel like mm-hmm. is kind of getting her job done. So I don't have a problem with the actual crew um, at all. I think the chef. is the, the lamb eater is pissed that she's got to do third stew stuff. Right. She does make a point that you shouldn't train. But then also it is great training to teach during a charter. But yeah. I get both points. Yeah, I do, too. But you got to you got to get people to level up. Right. So you got to take. Yeah. Time and up. maybe her personality is not fun to be around. I mean, there, the energy was completely different when the blonde blackout. Oh, yeah. Girl. Yeah. Well, they were dancing around. in the kitchen. Right. No, I mean, I think her energy might be a little negative. Um, yeah. But she's she's entertaining months after your dad TV. dies. It's oh, sad. yeah. She probably yeah. should be there. I don't know? like seeing that. No. Sad. sad. I know. Oh, how about the blonde girl? I love. Sorry, guys. We don't know any of their names. <laughs> the blondes do setting up that crib and like couldn't do it. Setting oh, up God. a pack and play in case anyone has never had the thrill to, and like, pleasure. Click the stuff. It's, it's crazy. A nightmare. If you don't know what you're doing, you will lose your mind trying to get those Puzzle. four pieces to come up. It's like a ridiculous. Rubik's cube. It's the worst. Like, when, we, when we oh. got to Jersey, like two weeks ago or whatever, and my mother in law, like she was like, I mean, we're gonna have to return this crib. We tried for an hour and a half. We can't get it up. And I went over there. I'm like, if you read the instructions that are in red at the bottom of the crib, like you'll literally get it. They're like, we were gonna return it. I'm like, no. <laughs> my mom and I have almost put strollers back in the car, fully put together because we've spent so much time trying yeah. to figure out how to collapse it. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it is. They it's make like, it nuts. Yeah. Who wants to read instructions? I don't know. I should be able to put together a pack and play without having to read. I know. It should be pretty easy go lucky. It should be yeah. pretty hunky dory. Her make you it's scary alcohol. If anybody's against weed, this girl seemed all with it and she can't remember kissing the guy. And I've been right. there. Oh. <laughs> Have I? I've told them many a bartenders I wanted to fuck them. And I'm sure they, you know. And I didn't. I, mean, I don't. I've been in a cab with you when you've asked the cab. And I tell cab drivers, sexual attention. Tyler so, yeah, thought that yeah. the kids weren't his. I mean, <laughs> I don't know why. I think I um, that stuff. You know, I think I told you this. Like, there was a comedian one time who said, "Like, blacking out is like your brain's way of protecting yourself." Like, all right, shit's about to get bad. We'll see you later. And it's like that's horrifying, right? Like that you literally that your brain oh. says, "Let's choose not to remember what you do next." It's like terrible. Oh uh, man, no, and real her bitch. saying that she's 16 learning to twerk because of YouTube. It's like, oh God, our youth. What a world. Right? Probably learning from Aunt Becky's daughter. <laughs> totally. But a chef that enjoys cooking for children is a bad chef. Couldn't I understand more. it must be easy, but of course it's should... easy, but it's not. That's not he what was a chef so a relieved. Chef... Yes. Like a chef should bring together elevated flavors and want to like blow your mind with what you're going to be presented with. Not make a shitty pizza and mac and cheese. Like, no. He turned the dial to nine instead of zero. He almost fucking burnt the boat down. All right. He's bad. Oh, He's a bad God. Chef. I can't wait for him to leave. I hope we get like Adam or somebody fun. It's got to be someone we know, right? It's terrible. Ben. I yeah. wish I could find... I can't remember a chef where I really feel like Ben would be good. I want a chef that gives me a lot of food and tastes really good. But Rachel, man, I, I think Rachel was portion. the best technical yeah. chef we had that we've had. That she the is. Show's had. Yeah. Yeah. If I could pick a chef, I would pick Rachel. Rachel yeah, I would ben. too. Because I could it's talk to her team. any type of way. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I'd want to work That's with right. Rachel. Oh, well, Rachel did get a little nuts and crunch time yeah just it's a, an interesting just season bit. next episode yeah, it's looks good great no i'm enjoying it um i love below yeah. deck this is this is good i think the chef's trash and i think i like the show because i like seeing the food so i would like a better mm-hmm. chef but other than that it's good and 
I do like the Chiefs do. Yeah. We'll, I enjoy we'll, her. We'll, we'll figure out our name, guys. You, you don't have to have a stand up comedian chief stew. No, no, you don't have to have you don't have a disaster. You don't have to have the bow. You don't have to yeah. have Kate. You can have somebody competent. And I think you're seeing like it just she knows how to run a boat. And so I give her credit for sure. And I like that she dated Jack. Yes, it's fun. Shows you she has Jack. a good time. Me too. Nothing like a Liverpool accent. Absolutely nothing. There isn't nothing there's nothing like it the strain They're happy people the, yeah the strain behind the words is what i love so much we better get a <laughs> liverpool person um it is great on love island look at that we started and ended with our show <sighs> love island oh can't wait to watch, watch that shaw's episode. i did not okay how was it shaw's yeah it's, it's hard to even watch i know i watched last week and i was like you know what? I don't even care. Like I really I put last week bad. on and I turned it off. Yeah. No, it's then I good. watched the it. This just the shows dead. In case it's dead. It sucks. It's terrible. It's, it's really so bad. forced and fake. Yeah. So and Gigi's fake. like their life coach. It's yeah. time. It is. Got to go. I want Reza to be that thin with a big ass mustache. Me too. I want the mustache back and porn. Do some porn for me, Reza. Mm. all right guys uh patreon friends will be back with love island dropping your way this weekend and gossip girl um oh and love and, after lockup it's friday and love after friday lockup. Oh, in, motherfuckers. guys guess who we got on the <laughs> hook for an interview deontay get ready we're gonna get and a sex just, doll tutorial and, uh, nicole jr <laughs> nicole jr can't wait it's gonna be a thrill we're doing that the first week of august all right guys I got our interviews with them yeah yes please do Give we us love a five you. Star review if you sh- if you care. We'll be back.